Hey, my name is Matt. Welcome to Ranking Tactics. And just when you thought the world of AI and content creation could not get any crazier, Google goes and releases a bombshell today. They go on the record and say, hey, you know what? AI content, mm, it's okay. It's just content. Can you believe that? All of us marketers and SEO people were like, oh, I don't know, AI, can you use AI? Can you not use AI? And there's, there's a clear fence dividing both of them. And all the people on one side are like, hey, come on, non-AI people, come on over to our side. And they're like, no, no, AI content, it's so scary. But now Google has said, hey, you know what, AI, it's okay. Now there are a couple asterisks in here. We're gonna cover those in this video, but in general, don't be scared anymore. Let's go over what Google's talking about. So this is their search guidance about AI generated content released today, Wednesday, February 8th. There's some boilerplate stuff up here, but the meat and potatoes is down here. As explained, however, content, however content is produced, those seeking success in Google search should be looking to produce content, original, high quality, people first content, demonstrating qualities, EEAT. However, it's produced. Google doesn't care how it's produced. They're not looking to flag content. Oh, this was made by AI, so we're going to flag it. This was made by a human, so we're not going to flag it. And I've been telling you this from the beginning, this is not a battle Google wants to fight because it's not an intelligent battle. GPT-4 will come out, GPT-5 will come out. Pretty soon it will be indistinguishable from a human. And so what is going to be a ranking factor is whether your content's original, whether it's high quality, whether it's people first, and whether it demonstrates EEAT if necessary. Now let's go down to the fact, because this is really interesting. Is AI content against Google search guidelines? Now watch this. Appropriate use of AI or automation is not against our guidelines. Let me say that one more time. This is Google saying that, okay? Appropriate use of AI or automation is not against our guidelines. You can use AI, you can use a human. It doesn't matter who generates the content. You're not gonna get penalized because it was AI generated according to what Google's saying here. This means it is not used to generate content primarily to manipulate search rankings, which is against our spam policies. So you can generate content and spin content or just have a thousand people in a room banging out content manually, and it constitutes spam. There was an individual a while ago who I think they scraped all the people also asked questions and generated 10,000 blog posts just having those answers to people also ask questions all answered by GPT-3. That is spam. That is something to manipulate the search rankings. But in my opinion, if you want to go write 10 or 20 blog posts using AI, that's high quality, that's original, that's people first and demonstrates EEAT, you should be good according to what Google is saying right here, as long as it's appropriate use of AI or automation. Okay, will Google, how will Google search prevent poor quality AI content from taking over the search results? Poor quality content is not a new challenge. It is not. People have been spinning content all the time. We've been tackling poor quality content created by humans and automation for years. We have existing systems to determine the helpfulness of content, et cetera, et cetera. And you can follow this link and read how they're determining what something, you know, when something's helpful or not. How will Google address AI content that potentially propagates misinformation? Now, this is a big concern. This is something, in my opinion, that you need to really pay attention to. Because when Google introduces BART, their big concern is making sure BART does not produce incorrect information. Let me ask you a question. Do you think Google is gonna to wanna to surface your content from your blog? Because that's where it's getting this stuff from. You think they're gonna to wanna to have the AI pull that stuff, those facts and figures from your blog if what your blog is saying has false information? If you're saying, hey, if you go eat some chocolate, you'll get cured of cancer, you think Google is gonna to wanna to take that risk of surfacing that to into the BART interface or whatever it looks like on Google? No. And so if they determine, this is my opinion, if Google determines that your website has false information on it, you had better be very careful because you're probably gonna get deranked. So that is, I think out of all the concerns I have personally with using AI content, it would be you need to make sure that your content doesn't have fake stuff in it, fake facts. Because if it does, you're gonna be screwed in my opinion. Uh, how can search determine if AI is being used to uh, spam search results? We have a variety of systems, including Spam Brain, that analyzes patterns and signals. Okay, probably something to look at to, to research. So some more cool stuff in here. This is in the Google Search Central, and this was just released today. If you go over here to the archive, you'll see the stuff for February. Really cool read. I definitely recommend checking it out. The TLDR is simply Google is ne has never been and is not against AI-generated content. It doesn't care who generates it, it cares whether or not it's helpful. I've been saying that all the time. So with all of that said, if you'd like to learn how to use AI content, I recommend joining my Zimwriter Facebook group. And if you don't know what Zimwriter is, 
It's a, as an AI software that runs on your desktop and allows you to use GPT-3 anywhere. Thousands of different programs across your desktop and in your browser. You can use it in websites that don't even have GPT-3 enabled. And also it will write 6,000 word blog posts. Now you're gonna have to edit them. You're gonna have to review them to make sure there's no fake facts and they're helpful and all that stuff. But it does that too. And you can go to my YouTube channel, Ranking Tactics. And oh wait, we just did a study actually two days ago where we used ZimWriter to do some niche research and also generate 47 blog posts over 125,000 words. We did a whole website from scratch. It's a pretty cool video to watch. Hey, I hope this video helped. Drop a comment down below, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you liked it. And otherwise, hey, good luck with your content generation and I'll talk to you later.